Murray Favreau's The Hood, sort of, it was a book that crept up on me slowly. When I first approached it, I thought it would be um, far too complicated to follow. Too many names uh, covering 400 years of history um, uh, and a part of the world that I really didn't know very much about. Um, but she has this extraordinary ability to make this complicated, huge span of history comprehensible, and not just comprehensible, but gripping. She changed my view of Cengiz Khan and of the um, empire that he created. But Favreau shows that this was a very sophisticated empire, a kind of empire on horseback, um, that was as interested in trade and in exchange and, and in cultivating an area of peace where people could prosper. It was a, a really revelation to read this book for me. The book The Horde succeeds in helping us to rethink what we mean when we talk about a state, political power, political economic authority. Uh, here she takes a, a subject which is sort of vaguely known by many people interested in history, the Horde, the Golden Horde, uh, and really explains uh, how this, these nomadic uh, groups manage to govern and dominate trade in a vast area stretching from uh, China all the way to Russia and Eastern Europe, how their presence uh, affected the history of these uh, different areas, and um, what we mean when we talk about political and economic authority. There's use of Mongolian sources, also a lot of use of Mo Russian sources, because a lot of this is about how the, um, the Horde operated when it was um, in, in Russia, in, around Moscow, but then also the languages of Islamic Central Asia. Um, so Persian is also a significant source for, for this country. It's, it's absolutely spectacular, this book, in terms of its source, the wide range of its source material, and actually going to the original sources and seeing how people spoke at the time and what they really cared about and how they understood what they were doing. Favreau brings you sort of in and out in terms of, um, you know, like intimate details about the relationship between um, Genghis Khan and his children, uh, but then really big uh, framing details about tax collection and strategic, the strategic movement of armies of thousands and ten thousands of people. Um, and so for those of us who are not familiar with this moment in time or with these people, you really get a kind of nuanced uh, uh, understanding and also it's gripping. Um, she writes in a way that makes, that sort of pulls you in uh, to the history that she is um, exploring for you.